What is up guys, Joe Snow right here. Today I have very bad news for those who have jailbreak on iOS 9.3.3, 9.3.2 or any 9.x firmware. Apple released the iOS 9.3.4. Yep, you heard me. So if you go here and you navigate on their uh, support page, they have a page called about the security content of iOS 9.3.4. This document describes the security content of iOS 9.3.4. And the only security thing out here is the fact that they did patch the exploit from IO mobile frame buffer, a memory buffer or a memory exploit they uh, Pangu used in order to gain access for arbitrary code execution with kernel privileges. And of course, what is something strange that I found out is that Apple says on here, on this page, that this exploit they used for jailbreak was available for iPhone 4S and later, which means that we could have got our iPhone 4S, 5 and 5C jailbroken using the same utility probably. Why did Pangu uh, decided to release only for 64-bit device, well, God knows why, but in fact, this is what they did. And the problem is that iOS 9.3.4 kills the jailbreak from Pangu for iOS 9.3.x and will basically render your uh, device unjailbreakable if you update to iOS 9.3.4. So stay out of any updates in this period because if you do update to iOS 9.3.4 and you will get stuck to iOS 9.3.4 you will get stuck without jailbreaking until probably mid of September after uh, iOS 10 would be released for at least one week and Pango could do their job. We know that iOS 10 can be jailbroken, we know that since the iOS 10 beta 1 because Pango demoed this thing on Mosaic 2016. So the jailbreak is definitely possible on iOS 10, but until iOS 10 gets released, if you update to iOS 9.3.4, you will be stuck without any jailbreak. Of course, iOS 9.3.4 poses no threats for 32-bit device users because those users are not getting any jailbreak for iOS 9.3.x from Pango, therefore they don't have what to lose. But if you have a 64-bit device, which means iPhone 5s or up, being it 6, 6s, 6s plus or anything like this, stay vigilant and do not update. If you connect your device to your Mac or Windows computer and you have iTunes installed, it will automatically say that there is an update and it will prompt you to update your phone to 9.3.4. Do not do that if you want to keep your jailbreak. If you don't, you can update. But if you already did update it and um, you didn't know about this fact that it patched the uh, jailbreak, you can downgrade by going to the iPhone wiki on the, the iPhone wiki.com slash firmware, selecting your iPhone from here, from the uh, this table of contents. For, for example, I'm going to select iPhone 6 plus. And from here, make sure in this table, you will select 9.3.3, not 9.3.4, which will probably be added in this table as well, probably tomorrow or the next days. Make sure it's 9.3.3 here, Genoa, and click on this link right here and download the IPSW file. Downloading the IPSW file takes a while because it's 2 gigabit or 2, gig 2 gigabit and a little bit. And it will be restorable through iTunes in recovery mode, DFU mode or normal mode and will bring you to 9.3.3 at least for one week. Why I say one week? Because Apple will probably keep the uh, signing window for iOS 9.3.3 only for one week or less. I wouldn't place my, my uh, bets on this. Probably they will uh, kill the signature window faster than usual due to the uh, jailbreak implication. But you should be able to downgrade today, tomorrow and probably the day after tomorrow back to 9.3.3 if you made a mistake to upgrade to 9.3.4, but do it right now, take your time, do it right now, do not say I'm going to do it tomorrow and tomorrow you're going to say I'm going to do it tomorrow and so on, because after the signature window gets closed by Apple, you will be stuck with 9.3.4 and without any jailbreak opportunity. Keep in mind, this update Apple created was solely for patching the jailbreak 
of a uh, Pangu team and it patches both the jailbreak me 9 which uses the application from Pangu without a uh, computer connection and the application that does require a computer connection so if you happen to update you won't be able to use neither the uh, no computer version or the computer version so keep in mind you won't be able to jailbreak at all so the bottom line to to recap those things are do not update to 9.3.4, there will not be any other jailbreak for 9.x, so don't place your bets that either Pangu or Taiji will release any other jailbreak after that, because they will not, they already started working for iOS 10 jailbreak, which is on the corner, will be probably uh, released on the first weeks of September, prior to the release of the new iPhone and uh, you should not place your bets on that that I'm, I'm going to, I, to go to iOS 9.3.4 because they're going to jailbreak it as well. They will not. So this is the only 9.x jailbreak we're going to receive. For 32-bit device there will be no jailbreak so you don't have to worry about losing anything unfortunately and uh, yeah keep in mind that I will keep you updated on anything that changes if something changes, but iOS 9.3.4 is definitely not a good update. So avoid it as much as possible. As I said, there are Cydia tweaks that can prevent the phone from showing that, that annoying dialogue about the upgrades and the updates, and you can install them. So stay updated by subscribing to my channel, by clicking the big red button, thumb up this video if you want the people to know about this update and to avoid getting stuck with 9.3.4, Tell me in the comment section what you think about Apple's decision to patch Pangu's jailbreak. Until the next time, I'm Joe Snow, you are on iDevice Central Channel, and peace out.